Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss about one of the most frequently asked interview scenario that is how to do top N and bottom N in the same view or in the same worksheet. So one of the common answers that we get in this is like using sets we can do. But today, let us try to explore the different you know, options of that and we'll also learn about how uh, those functions that are used will work according to that. So to do this use case, I'm going to take subcategory and I'm going to take my sales. So the general or the standard method that we use is we create sets. So simply I'm going to my subcategory here and I'm clicking on that create set and I'm going to do top five subcategory item by sales of some and I'm going to write top five here. Okay, now same thing I'm just duplicating this and I'm just uh, editing this set, uh, naming it to bottom five. And instead of top here, I'm just writing bottom. So this method we all know, but still I'm trying to replicate it. Apply, okay. So like, you know, we need to just create a combined set on top of this. And because we need both the items from both, like top five and bottom five, I'm taking all members in both the sets. Now, when I take that, I'll get top five items from my top set and bottom five items from my bottom set, which is like five plus five, 10 subcategory items I will get. So top five and bottom five, click OK. So simply take this, drop it onto this and click on just to show members in the set. This is your top five and bottom five. One, two, three, four, five. And the rest are this one. Now this is the first method. Second method, we'll try to do it using rank function. So for that, now what I'm doing is uh, same thing, replicating the same here. And subcategory wise, I'm taking, sorting it, making it entire view. Now I'm creating a simple calculation here and I'm calling it as rank per set. Okay, or simply I'll call it as rank function. So I'm just calling uh, using rank unique to get unique ranks for my sum of sales. Okay, now for now I'm just keeping it as it is, I'll tell you. And I'm just dropping it here and I'm just converting it to discrete to show you the numbers. So if you observe this, you see we are getting, so by default, the sorting order of this is descending. So that's why the highest value in our subcategory is getting one. And as the ranks are decreasing, we are getting the this thing. So now if I try to specify the order, I can put the comma and write as ascending. Now see the rank, how it is getting displayed. Click on apply. You now see it is getting the rank numbers in the reversed way. So I am just trying to use these numbers accordingly to get what we need. Okay. So if I say, if I put it like this, less than five. Okay. So how many values will get from here? One, two, three, four this four values will get. If I click on apply, you see only these are getting becoming true. So I also need fifth value. Maybe this side I need to put. See, now this is becoming true. So bottom five we got, right? So same thing, I'm just duplicating and I'm just writing it or you can write it below also.
or I'm not specifying anything here. Apply. Now you see, this is becoming true. One, two, three, four, five. And this is also becoming true. So from this, the bottom five are becoming true. And from this statement, top five are becoming true. Now when I click on this, and if I click on apply, we will get top and bottom five using a rank function. Okay, so this is all. This is how we can uh, do or implement this scenario. Next is we can also do using uh, index function here. So for that, what I'm doing is again, like say I'm creating a calculated field and this time I'm writing index here. And again, index is like numbering. It will give you an entry for each of your record that is available. So same thing, I'm just dropping it here and I'm converting that into discrete. If you see based on the number of records that we have, it is trying to get us the number. So 17 records we have in subcategory, we are getting that. Now, same thing we can also, like how we did for rank function, we can do the same thing. Like say less than or equal to five means it will give true for first five values. Now, how to get this, the last one. So here we are trying to use a new function as size so size is nothing but it will give us the maximum size of the records that we have available now if you observe here in our subcategory items we have 17 marks here right so that is what this will return so click on apply you see 17 we got now we need to we need to get last five records from the bottom right so i'm going to use just that to get the bottom five. So how can we get that? So first index less than or equal to size. Okay, let us comment this first. So I'm going to use, let's say size uh, minus five. If I do, we are getting 12. Okay, so now I will get all of those values which are less than this. So simply put it next to your index function here and let us see now see here uh, maybe see here now only this is becoming true one two three four five okay six we are getting so maybe we can put uh, four here one two three four five Okay, so we got it. So this way we can use it. So same like this, this or in uh, next one is index. Index of less than five, less than or equal to five. So R means basically here, either this is true or this is true. It will become true and it will return all of this. Click on apply. Now you see our top five are becoming true and bottom five are also becoming true. So this way also we can return the values. Now simply I'll take this calculation index function and I will drop it on filter shelf. We'll get only top and bottom and values. See, this way also we can implement your third method of doing it. So the other method is using uh, again uh, a new function called as first and last function. Let us see how they work. I'm just going to take subcategory again and sales to create a simple view here and sort them, make them entire view. Okay. Now let us see how this first and last functions work. And I'm going to write it here as first and last. So same thing first, I'm writing first function. So in real time also, whenever you are getting any new uh, scenarios, just see how it is working first. And then later on, you can try to, you know, add us uh, your conditions to that function. So I'm just clicking on apply. So if I just try to add it next to this and convert this into discrete, you see it is naming or numbering this. So first means basically from your first position where this is. Okay, so it is already in the first position. Chase means it is 
one less than or minus two less than or minus three. So it is giving us the numbers here. Behind that it is like that. Last means it will give you the positive numbers, simple. So if I just comment it and use last, you will get same but the positive numbers. You see, this is in 16th position from the big, uh, bottom like that okay now i'm going to use it for our calculation purpose and i'm going to write to get what we need so first i'm writing apply now i need value still one two three four five right so less than greater than or equal to minus four so let us see what will be true now you see only this values are true one two three four five so we got first fight row okay so likewise i'm going to use r and i'm going to use okay or uh, at any point of time you get out you can always comment and you know you can write this and again check it what you need till here one two three four five okay so you need less than or equal to four simple now you see you are getting true till here one two three four and five now simply just remove your commented things everything should work accordingly now this should be true and this also should be true click on apply you got that okay so now simply take that first and last and drop it onto filter shelf so like this you can implement the scenario now, next time when someone is asking you in the interview the same question, you can talk about all of these methods using which you can do. So likewise, you can also implement this in your real time also, one of the most important thing. So that's it from my side in this video. I hope you like it. If you like it, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Have you a good day and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.